Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for part two of playing with the resin art tints. In this first section, I will be mixing the five colors in 99% alcohol. I'm using approximately two scoops. These are eighth teaspoons, these little servet, like little taster spoons or eighth teaspoons. So I'm using approximately two scoops per half ounce of 99% alcohol. I prefer the 99% uh, versus the, uh, especially if we're going to do like an alcohol ink or just some kind of alcohol effect with resin and other artwork. Um, Iso regular isopropyl alcohol that 70% has 30% water and I'm just want to stick with you know pure alcohol if we're going to try to get the best effects possible. That first color is Bahama Mama. This is the red raspberry. And at this point, I figure I can just mix up all three in a hurry. I don't, it's not a hard deal anymore. So there's two scoops of the turmeric. It's a kind of a curry, yellow curry color. I believe this is the viola, which is a periwinkle blue violet. And this is the clear cobalt, that really, really, really dark blue that I used in part one. I'm going to put a half ounce in each one of these, let them mix up. Okay, so here was my test, and I was using the spoon right out of the cup, not realizing that I'm also picking up the sediment. There's a mineral that we've mixed with these colors as the carrier, basically the vehicle to, to deliver uh, the nuances of these different colors to you. And so... There was some little uh, sediments that dropped in this first test after I mixed them up and I was trying to drop everything just with my spoon, picking up some of that color from the bottom. That's that Bahama Mama. That is so pretty. Now here is the uh, clear cobalt. And I just love how this turmeric works with these other colors. I, I just made a decision that I was going to warm up all the edges of this and just seem to kind of pull all the colors together. So like here's what it looks like dry. Now I sprayed it with a little isopropyl for the fun of it after it dried for a little bit and I got some pretty fun patterns on this. But the next thing I wanted to do was pour off my color in bottle, little bottles, so I could use them on my next experiment. So I poured all five colors off. If you notice there's sediment in the bottom of that turmeric, just toss it out. You've already released the colors. We're interested in getting the color in the alcohol, and then I got them in these little bottles with droppers on the top of them. So once again, it's the resin art tints. Okay, now this tile was one of the tiles I did when I did the surf up test. It was, uh, and I'm dropping 99% alcohol on it right now. The surf up test was done with surf up and that color antique rose gold and black. And the tile was kind of bland. So this already has been resined and completely dry. This is this was an experimental tile from a few days ago. I'm only using two colors. 
I'll be dropping the red raspberry and I'm dropping the turmeric. And what amazes me is how these transparent alcohols, the transparency of the tints, um, moving over these other colors beneath gave me a rainbow of colors. I thought it was amazing. Um, I don't have an airbrush and I couldn't find my straws. So I apologize for putting my head in the camera. Now I keep dropping little drops of straight alcohol ink and then I'm dropping the color in it. I'm not just dropping the straight uh, mixture directly on the tile. I am moistening every area first with a little drop of the straight 99% and then the color. That's that turmeric again. So at this point I'm looking at it going, have I missed some place or should I continue to layer? And I opted to keep layering. Some areas I pooled alcohol ink, or I mean the alcohol a drop of the tints mixed in the alcohol, then another drop of pure alcohol on top of that to see what kind of effect I can get. What's cool is, is these things are drying because they'll dry pretty fast. Um, they're creating these other patterns and lines that weren't there before. Some of these darker patterns when you get to the end are not from that original black that was on that layer one. At this point, I'm just checking to see, do I need to add more? Like a drop of alcohol, more red raspberry. As the patterns are forming, I'm finding this more and more interesting, these uh, structural lines, for a better lack of terms, just kind of forming all in their own with how the inks have created those hard edges. They're not really inks where the resin art tints mixed in alcohol have created those hard edges. And this is sort of in real time so we can see what happens as it gets affected by this. Now the question was, how is that going to resin over the top of this? And that was the ultimate goal. I was wondering, how can I use the resin and the tints 
So I decided to put a layer of Liquitex varnish because the theory is don't use something on top of it that it's soluble in and almost all of the two-part epoxy now are uh, resin soluble. So I use the varnish which is technically water soluble. Actually a one little bit of color lifted on the first pass because I don't think it's quite as uh, water soluble as say just using gel medium but I wanted something fast that would dry quickly um, and so what I did is I got the foam brush really saturated and made sure that my passes were nice and juicy there was a good amount of varnish on it so there was no question I was going to get it moist in one to two passes I did not go back and forth. You're not going to mishmash back and forth. You don't want to disturb the alcohol inks underneath that we just laid down. And then at this point, I'm just kind of tapping like sponging or stippling motion, just kind of tapping any little area that it looks like it missed. So the challenge was drying this. Uh, cool air. Do not use the heat on that heat gun. Uh, if you have time and can allow it to sit overnight, that might even be better. But I managed to dry it well with cool air. I'd say in about 15-20 minutes. Let it set another 15 minutes and then I was ready to do my resin. So I'm just moving the resin around with my popsicle stick. The varnish is working. The whole point of the varnish was to have a water soluble seal between the solvent alcohol mixed color below and the solvent resin which had it hit it would want to reactivate it and move our patterns. They are soluble to one another. This worked and it gave me a great effect. I would like to use this technique as a base and then lay other clear transparent colors on top for layer two, layer three. I love the idea of this as a base for a painting. Just kind of warm it up, make sure I don't have any little hairs. Here's a close up. I'm pleased. I hope you guys like it. We have a coupon going on with Puppy Love 19, $30 off a $100 order. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.